So I'll start with just wetting the, the area first, okay? And you're gonna see how it works differently. I don't need to work it too hard. Now, if it's wet, I wanna use more pigment because it's just gonna fall out of solution. See how it's running? Mm -hmm. That's because it's wet. Mm -hmm. Okay, and watch how every time I lift this up, see how it makes a blossom? Yes. So you wanna take that, take that into consideration. And then I'm gonna come down here with a little bit more. Now watch this. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna make these clouds. Look at that. And you got some clouds. It's just like magic. It is, it's, it's magical. Wow. Okay, there's clouds. Simple, easy thing. Can you see from over there? Yeah. Okay, so that's one, one thing. Now I'm gonna let that dry and I'll go back into there because everything you do, you can see how it's granulating right in here? Mm -hmm. that's, that's happening because I'm using ultramarine blue and I'm using ultramarine blue that's been around a while. I wouldn't get as much of that, I don't think, if I had a fresh, a lot of people put fresh paint out every time, but I don't, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna get more granulation going on. If I had used a phthalo blue, something kind of on this line, I wouldn't get that as much of that. Because it's just some, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Go sometimes ahead. you want that texture. Yes, you do. Sometimes you want that texture. So I'm gonna let that. that uh, different ones are, have gotta be different textures mm -hmm. then and cause different things. Mm -hmm. and right, that you use. right. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Um, let's say if you, you wanna have, you know, like you've got a, a sunset kind of a thing and you know everything's gonna have kind of a yellow tone to it. You can do a big wet into wet underneath it like a, maybe a warm yellow. That's not warm because it's messed up. My palette's been around, it's getting kind of abused. So I can come in, let's say this, this was a graded wash. I can come back in over this one. So this is flat. Graded wash are normally going to be at an angle, but I'm gonna show you here. I can come in and warm that whole thing up. Did you see how it yeah. was? I can just come in and just warm that whole thing up and go all the way down. And That's that whole pretty. thing ends up with a whole different feel to it than it did. But I'm trying to keep the same, this is all wet into wet so I can go back over it. Okay, I'm watching this. So, okay, right now it's got some shine on it. Do you see how there's no shine where the white is and this has shine? Hmm. We're hoping. And this is, when I come back in here, just to show you how to punch it up if you want to, if you have a brush like this that holds a lot of water, this is a squirrel brush, okay? I, the brand on this one is Dynayu. It's a cheap one, squirrel hair. And um, at home, I have my good stuff. When I travel, I lose things, and so I just get the cheaper stuff. But this one is actually pretty good. If This one will hold a lot of moisture, if I don't want a lot of moisture, I can use like a synthetic brush, but also know that it could lift just like this mm -hmm. scrubber brush did. Okay, so we're letting that, we're, we're gonna see if that, it's getting better, getting better here. How's it going up there? Yes, there, okay. So one thing that you should know about wet and wet, if I want, this is now wet, I can come in there and do some pretty, some pretty detailed kind of passages if I use more pigment, less water on a wet surface. So watch what happens here if I come in with, with just a light wash. I can come in, see how it has lots of water in it and it'll run? That actually has probably less than, I'm trying to make it so that it's fuller, okay. See how it runs, okay? If I come in, and I want to put some detail in, I can come in and fill that brush full of pigment and I can get quite a bit going on here without as much run. Do you see the difference mm -hmm. between this and that? Okay, that's, that's part of wet into wet. I can go back into that area that I just did. It's pretty wet, but I can actually get a pretty good line because I have more pigment, less water in my brush. Okay, so now, if I come here and I lift up, do you see that? Yep, yep. Okay, so the solution to that would be to go like this and then back in. I can kind of come in, okay? Because if I go to the end, if I want a sharp tip, 
and I lift up at the end like that, you're gonna get a blob. I'm gonna get a blob. So let's see if we can do that again. I can come like this and then just go back. And I get a little bit. And I can also come in if I load that brush up some more and I can just come in. This is pretty wet in here, so. So think about it. So this right here are gonna be really soft. Now, if you think about um, the trees in the distance, let's say they're great and they kind of run off like this. I can keep coming back in here with more. Let's pick up a little bit of. See, I come back and go back and forth like this. I can get quite a bit of, okay? Wow. Okay. So now there, here's another little trick with wet and wet. I can come in, well, let's see if I can do it with this brush. Taking the moisture off the brush and I can come in here and I can go and lift off. Oh, things you don't want. I can lift off a little bit, see? I can do it even through the middle. Let's say if I wanted to do some veins, I can make this into a, a kind of a flat area and I can pull some off. Okay. And I can shape my brush. It doesn't really matter what colors I'm using. That's why I said it doesn't matter what you have. Oh, nice. So there's a lot of different things you can do. Now, see if I go back into this now, there's, see how much I come back in here? If I hit that with water, I have no control, okay? So control is more pigment, less water. And I see people thinking they wanna, they just wanna paint. They're just gonna paint and paint and paint and paint and stroke and stroke and stroke. That's like trying to paint a picture in a swimming pool. <laughs> it's not gonna work. You want to find out what these, what this does, what the paints will do. And like in here, they're starting, they creep back in. So you can just come back in and pull a little bit more out. Okay. That's just one of the, one of the techniques you can do. Okay. The only reason I can do that is because there's not as much water. If I go into this area that's really, really wet, I can't do it because there's nothing there. It's not going to, coming in with a wet brush, see how I just come in here? Oh, why is it doing that? Because I'm too, too wet. wet. So you just needed the pigment then. Yeah, you need more pigment. I can come back in here with more pigment. Let's wet that just a little bit. And now it's pretty wet. See how shiny it is? Mm -hmm. Shiny means wet. I can come in here and do a little bit, but the fact that I have to then have a lot of pigment in that area okay so that's that's two things now this is already this back in here it probably went too long so watch I can come in here I can come in here the area the area where the clouds were this will this wet area will go up to the dry area okay and so, you know how you need, a lot of times you need a little bit more uh, dark along the top. Okay, so I can come in here and really make that look like it got too dry, so. Now, okay, so in here, it's too dry, so I'm gonna wet the brush, take some of the moisture off, and I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go, not with not too much wet, I'm just gonna go this way to that and lift up, and that eliminates that hard edge. Now right there, it's pretty wet. So we're gonna end up, because this, is, this was drier, I may end up with a line of demarcation. Anywhere where you have more water on a dry area, you're gonna end up with a little blob. Okay, so here, I'm gonna soften this up. Okay. Okay, so that's kind of how you do the clouds. And if I don't want to have a line, I just kind of have to wet this whole area. And then to make the, uh, you know, when you have that, let's see if I can even do it, it's really hard to do. You want to make that silver lining. You come up there and leave just a thin little edge. And when that dries, that'll look like a silver lining. If I want to make it darker, I can come in and tap up against it. 
You've seen this, you know what I'm talking about, silver lining, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, probably looked better before. Just, and I wanna make sure, and you wanna have kind of a random, with this towel, you wanna have just kind of a random little. So in other words, buy a lot of paper towels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can. Okay, so like right here, I'm gonna decide, maybe I'm gonna do a second row of clouds. So I'm gonna come in and tap that, and I can come in here and then wherever it'll go right up against, and it won't go farther than where I where I blobbed it off or tapped it off. Oh neat. Yeah. So that's like a second row of. So I'm just drying my brush off and just kind of moving that around a little bit. Just kind of some principles that you have to. You have to learn what it wants to do. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that demo. Uh, if you'd like to see more of my work, you can go to my Facebook page. Just search for Gabriel Baber and my YouTube channel, uh, Gabriel Baber YouTube. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.